this is Dampy, and welcome back to my uh, Let's Play on Super Mario. Oh my god, there's a dinosaur. There's a dinosaur. <laughs> I didn't see that until now. There's a Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. Can you see it? Yeah, you better limber up, Mario. You better do your stretches if we're going to be going up against the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. I couldn't see that before. I didn't see that in the, the last episode. How did I not see it? It's right there. A ginormous Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, welcome back to my uh, Let's Play on Super Mario Odyssey. Um, yeah, we are jumping back in where we uh, left off. I am going to assume you saw the uh, the, the first episode because uh, it'd be a little bit weird just to, <laughs> to start off on, on episode number two. But up to you, I guess. I know how do we climb? Uh, shake the pro. Oh, why do I have to keep shaking the pro controller? So I looked in the, <laughs> the menu. Oh, oh, look at that! Well, that's very elegant, isn't it? Ah, I'm like a gymnast. So I was looking in the, the menus and you can play without motion controls, but like some of the stuff you just need to use motion controls for and like it doesn't say how you'll do those same actions, but you know, without the motion controls. So yeah, if you uh, have any tips on how to, to do that, feel free to, to let me know. But for now, I guess we need to, to make our way through here. So the chain chomps, you can throw a cappy at uh, and then you can kind of basically control where they pull to. So if I pull this guy over in this direction, he will fling back and then I can break open a little cave. And oh, I found another power moon. So my goal at the moment is to find, well, it was to find four power moons, but now is to find three power moons, seeing as I was able to, to find that one. And they're basically going to be hidden all around the area here. And oh, do you reckon there's one down this way? I will go and uh, and face the, the, the dinosaur, by the way. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not being a coward. I'm just I'm just looking for secrets. I'm looking for secrets. I got an apology by the way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry everyone. My apology is for um the fact that in the last episode I kept calling Cappy, which is my little hat, uh Kappa for some reason. And I have no idea why I did that. I know how do I Oh, can I use... Ah, I can use Cappy. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I just I just kept saying it wrong for for some reason. I sometimes said it right. It's not like I always said it wrong. Oh, I think I've kind of gone too far here, actually. Because, yeah, I want to go and get these uh, these things back this way first. So, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know. I just sometimes said it right, sometimes said it wrong. And I was there editing the video and just cringing at myself getting it wrong. So, ah, sorry. I will try from now on to get the name of my hat correct. And, um, yeah, if not, I apologize. I don't know what these, uh, these, like, little purple polo things do. It looks like there's a certain amount of them in each level, and they haven't been too hidden. <laughs> the ones I've found, at least. You know, who knows, there might be more. Anyway, you know what I'm gonna do to this dinosaur, don't you? You know what I'm gonna do to the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Goodness, look at the size of that thing. That's what I was thinking. Right, can I, can I take it over? I can! I am now the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, look! Can I now go and, like, I can smash open all of these things? I mean, I could have used the, the chain chomp to get through here, but why use a chain chomp when you can use a Tyrannosaurus Rex? And there was actually, back this way, if I'm allowed to, to go back this way, there were some other things over here that I could smash up. So, like, there's a place up there with a checkpoint, but I, I couldn't work out how to, to get up there. But there's like a- Whoa, look at all these coins! Oh, no, no, go, go this way, dinosaur. Go this way. Get the coins, get the coins, get the coins. Ah! Yeah, so it looks like if I go- Oh, <laughs> this place doesn't seem quite big enough for the dinosaur. If I smash that up, is there some way for me- Oh, oh maybe I can't. I really want to get up to, to there, to that, that checkpoint. Do you reckon if I, like, can I jump off the dinosaur to get up? This might be a little bit dangerous. Maybe if I, if I park the dinosaur here, I'll be able to get out. Oh, it won't- I can't- I can't get out the, the dinosaur. I can't, I can't say to, to leave it right now. It looks like we're, we're staying at the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex for the, the time being. Let's, oh no. Oh, poof. Oh, it's too big. It couldn't hold on to it any longer. Okay, it looks like it, it's appeared back up there again, though. It's just to, to there. I can work out how to, to get to. I tried jumping from here. Yeah, I even tried the little boom, boom, boom. Okay, that wasn't a very good one, but you get the, the idea. And I couldn't work out how to get to it. And I thought behind that big block there might have been something for me to climb up. But sadly, there isn't. But anyway, let's keep on pushing forward. I think there's a, a pretty good chance I'm going to have to get our dino friend uh, again uh, to, to help us uh, make our way uh, around the, the area. But for now, we can leave him sleeping on the, the top of the, the hill. It looks like he can't really hurt me too much. And that is the, the thing that I'm happy about. I'm just really trying to look everywhere. Like, I'm not going to get all the moons. I think there's 800 moons or something in this game. I'm not going to get 800 moons. 800 moons is too many moons for, for me. But uh, hopefully I will get a decent amount of them. Oh, do I need to like spin it round or something? I think I can spin it. Oh yeah, spin throw. 
When you're surrounded by enemies and just wish you could hit them all at once, snap the pro controller to the side to do a spin throw. Your hat will spin all around you. Okay, so I just go like this. Oh, okay. There we go. That seemed relatively, uh, relatively easy to, to do. I've also noticed that there's a bunch of like hidden stuff inside of like these bushes and stuff. So make sure uh, when you're you're playing the game, if you do play the game, that you you kind of look at all of those bushes and things all over the place. And aha, there's more of the the, the purple polos. <laughs> I don't know what the the actual name of the, these things are. Pretty certain it's not purple polos though. But there we go. So it looks like there's. 50. I guess just in this this one area, there's going to be 50 that I need to, to get. Can I get up here? Because these these types of rocks here, these are, are smashable. So I wonder if I was able to, to kind of charge the T-Rex the through here, if I'd be able to get something. Oh, what's that down there? Oh, look. There's like, is that like Cat Peach down here? Can you see? Look in the wall. Hello. Hello, Cat Peach. Oh, it gave me a heart. How bizarre. <laughs> right then, can we go down this way? Is this breakable at all? No, it looks like that's a little bit of a, of a dead end there. I'm going to go get the, the dinosaur back. I really want to <laughs> really get the dinosaur back and just charge through here. I'm assuming he can get up there, so I bet it's like a set amount of time we can have on him, but I spent quite a lot of time not doing much very useful when I was uh, I was with him. So if I try and use my, my timer a little bit better... Hopefully, uh, I'll be able to get a little bit further. And if nothing else, I'll be able to, to take out all of the, the enemies that were around there. And oh, there's an area at the, the top there. I think that's where one of those rabbit things was again. You know, I, I battled some in the, the last episode. Once again, if, if you saw that. And oh, can I smash this up? Is there, is there going to be anything underneath here? Any coins? Nope, nothing underneath there. But still, fun just to go and smash them all up. Anything I need to smash in? Whoa! Oh, look! There's like a whole little 2D Mario game hidden behind the, the mountain. Good job, Tyrannosaurus Rex. And oh, now it's letting me choose when I want to, to release it. It didn't let me do that before. I guess I needed to to stay in him until I, I used the, uh, the uh, you know, use what I needed to, to do. So there we go. You can <laughs> have a little nap. Oh, can I jump on him? Am I going to be able to? Because I, no. Okay, I don't think. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> right then, are we, are we going to enter the, the 2D game then? This is cool. This is cool. Straight in the, the pipe. And now I am 2D Mario. Oh my, we've gone flat and rather blocky at that. It's all right. I know all about blocks. All right, let's go and jump on the, the, the Goomba. This is cool. This is like a nice little throwback to some of the, the older Mario games. And like, I obviously, I, lo I love 3D Mario games, but there's something just special about 2D Mario games as well. Like not just to look at or anything, but just to, to play. But I don't know. There's just, they're just much more streamlined. And uh, yeah, there's just something really enjoyable about them. So I hope there's a bunch of moments like this as well throughout the, the entire game. And it's just so weird to like see everything else in the, the background around here. And oh, what's going to happen here? Am I just going to like jump back to 3D? I am. I just jumped and went straight back to, to being 3D again. Fossil Fall Heights. I bet you could use uh, a spectacular view. Um, I bet there's a spectacular view from the, the top of the pole. I bet there is. Let's go and, uh, and climb my way up as I shake the controller. And then we can view the, the spectacular view. It is a pretty spectacular view. I have a um a brochure, by the way. Oh, oh, I can take a picture. Should I take a picture? I, I think I can add some filters to it as well. What filter? Oh, that's a pretty cool one. We can't see the background. Oh, what about that one? There's a, there's going to be a, a nice picture. Right, how, do I, how do I take picture? Uh, there we go. There we go. I've taken my, my first picture inside the game. <laughs> I got myself some bonus hearts as well. Probably means we're going to be facing up against something dangerous. But yeah, as I was saying, I've got a, um, I've got a brochure. Look, we can see all of the, the sites and everything that there, that there is in the, the area. It's a really cool way to, to do a map, isn't it? As if we're just on some sightseeing uh, adventure. Anyway, we're going to be careful because there are a few chain chomps here. Let's use... Uh, actually, I kind of want to break that area there. Let's uh, let's just kind of fire this one. Let's just let's just leave this guy. Actually, we we'll leave that one to to be dizzy for a little bit. This is the the one I need. To oh no 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 no! Ooh, it was really about to to get me there. And let's launch that into to there. That's gonna allow me to to keep on pushing forward that way. Don't think there's any more secrets around here unless I, I miss them. Uh, you can get things from these rocks as well. By the way, if you break them open, uh, they often have coins in. But looks like we might have a, a bit of a of a boss at the moment. <laughs> What a face. <laughs> what a face. Oh, she's got three of the, the power moons. There's three that I need. Watch this. You say you need to repair some silly old airship? Why, I could never part with any of my precious power moons. It sounds to me like someone wants to be a snack for my adorable chain chompkins. <laughs> <laughs> like her pet gold chain chomp. Right. Ah, so am I going to need to take over her chain chomp and then fire it back at her, do you reckon? 
Is that- can I even take over this chain chomp? I tried to, I don't- oh, there we go! I can, I can. Right, now I need to pull it back from her, and then release, and- <laughs> Right in the face! Right into her ugly face! <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful here. I'm being greedy and trying to get the coins, and I probably should be, uh, trying to- <laughs> to avoid a little bit more. I know, I can see where it's going to- to head to before it does, and so when it gets to the end, then I can go and take it over. Oh no, I didn't get it! I didn't get it, I didn't get it. Let's get in a little bit closer. There we go, I was able to, to overtake it then. And now I need to pull it away. Oh, she's trying to grab it. Okay, I need to keep going, I need to keep going. And, oh no, I didn't, I didn't get it. I gotta get it when she's like really trying to pull it because then she basically pulls it into, <laughs> into her own face. <laughs> Just like that. Oh, uh, that makes me laugh more than it should. Right, let's be greedy and once again and try and gather up the, the coins. I want the coins, I love coins. Right, let's uh, maybe back off a little bit. It's gonna head straight for me and I can take it over if I get close enough. You actually have to be relatively close to, to have it take it over, but she is getting really, really angry right now. And oh no, I didn't get it, I didn't get it, I didn't get it. Oh no, jump out, jump out, jump out. Oh, is it still letting me, still letting me jump out? There we go. <laughs> I, th I think when that looked like her face, it might have actually been an improvement. No offense, but... She's not the, the nicest lady in the, the world, is she? And she is gone. And in her place, we have three of the, the power moons. So, of course, you need the, the power moons to, to be able to, to get to the, the next areas. But there's like a bunch of extra ones you can use as well. And I think you can use them to, to get all the different costumes and stuff that you unlock throughout the, the game as well. You got a multi moon! This is all I need then. We are able to, to visit somewhere new now. I really want to see what this airship's going to, to be then, because it just looks like a little bit of wreckage in, like, the side of the mountain here. It doesn't really look much like an airship right now. You've done it! And now we've got a multi-moon! It's as strong as three power moons combined! It should be able to get the ship moving in no time! Let's see if we can make this work! Throw me onto that globe! Okay, I will do, Cappy! Let's go and throw it on to, to here. Here are all four of our moons. Should be enough to, to get this thing working. So is this whole thing just going to, to lift up and take us to, to somewhere new by the, the looks of things? It seems to have just like completed the, the sail. And oh no, I just saw, oh, I saw another moon behind me. And I also just saw some more of the uh, the purple polo. So I can come back and, uh, and complete, uh, you know, these levels a little bit later on and try and find some of the other things. It's just up to, um... It's just like that place that I was trying to get to before. And I don't know how to get up there. Maybe I need to take over a, a frog or something. And oh, is that, was that Bowser? That is Bowser's airship there. But we have a new area unlocked. We have enough fuel to reach the Sand Kingdom. Let's go and save those two. Why don't you take the helm? Just select the Sand Kingdom and press A and we'll be off. Okay, so this is just how I switch. Oh, so I can go back to the, the Cat Kingdom if I want to. And there are blatantly some secrets that I've missed there. But yeah, I'm going to mainly just like... You know, I am going to get secrets when I see them, but I'm not going to spend forever just trying to find everything because otherwise it's going to take a very long time for us to, to complete the, 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 the story of the, the game. So I'm going to go and make sure I can see and do everything that I really care about. Uh, but then uh, I'll probably just kind of in between episodes kind of go back to the levels and try and get all of the bonus things just for fun for myself, basically. And of course... The airship basically just looks like a giant hat. <laughs> hat certainly seems to be the object of the, the day inside of this game. <laughs> it certainly looks uh, much more complete than it did uh, a second ago as well. It's amazing what a lick of paint can do at all. I got a pilot's cap. So the adventure is properly beginning now. The world has opened up to us. There are so many opportunities, so many places to go to. Things to do in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said that's so weird. I kind of changed my mind for what I was going to say halfway through. But anyway, we are going to the, like, the, the Saturn Kingdom, I think was it called? I've got the, the name uh, already. So uh, we can see it stretching out uh, ahead of us now. And uh, this was uh, another one of the, the areas we saw in quite a lot of the, the trailers as well. So I have an idea of what this place is going to, to look like. So, how do you like me as a captain's hat? Pretty classy, wouldn't you say? Now then, where were we? That monster's name is Bowser? Well, we'll chase him down in no time in the Odyssey. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Travel tip, ground pound. To smash blocks or enemies below you, or to flatten out bombs in the ground, nothing beats a ground pound. Press ZL in midair to do a ground pound and pulverize with your posterior. <laughs> well, there it is. If you need some more review, you might want to look at the action guide. 
Okay, uh, maybe look at it later. I think I understand most of it anyway. It's always there for your perusal. Just open the menu with the plus and select action guide. We should discuss the sand kingdom too. As you've no doubt pieced together, it is entirely covered in sand. And as you can imagine, it gets quite hot. Hmm, there are some ruins there and an artifact called the binding band that links people forever, like a wedding ring. And this Bowser seems to like that sort of... Uh, and this Bowser seems like just the sort of creep that would steal a princess's uh, aniquity for his sham wedding. Alright, so it looks like that might be what Bowser's uh, after. Knowing Bowser though, he won't go by himself. He'll send one of his minions after it because he's too scared to, to go there in case he has to, to face me. But what a colourful town! What colourful sand uh, as well. especially like red sand. It almost looks like a, a mesa. And then what a... What are these things? Is, is, this, is that ice? Is it ice or like glass or crystals or something? I wasn't expecting to see ice in the, the desert. Huzzah! I declare the maiden voyage of the Odyssey a complete success. But why is it so cold? I thought deserts were supposed to be hot. Huh? There, look! On top of the tower shining! But how could that be? Could it be a power moon? I think it is. Right, so it looks like that's where we're going to have to head to next. So can I see how many more? 16? 16? Well, I guess the, the, the first one was really just to warm up and all. Can I see a moon? I think I can see a moon over there in that direction as well. Let's go here. Can I, can I zoom in? I can't zoom in. Is, is that a moon? I think it's a moon. There's, there's a something over there. That is for, for sure. Yeah, so I guess this is ice. Why is it? <laughs> Why is it all cold here? There's like ice everywhere in the, the desert. Something has definitely gone wrong around here. Oh, this would be so cool to like ride up and down with a dirt bike or something. With like these little ramps and stuff. <laughs> anyway, let's go speak to, to whoever this guy is. Everything is just for frozen all of a sudden. It, it certainly has. All right, this is Tostarina Town. Let's uh, <laughs> let's go in. Are they like dancing because they're they're happy and dancing, or is it just because they're like too cold? <laughs> oh, I wonder. Oh, I said that really weird, didn't I? Oh, I, I wonder if I can get a fire flower. Do you reckon if I get a fire flower, I might be able to um. Uh, to melt some of this ice to, to get some new areas. Or maybe there's going to be something that I do that is just going to kind of clear out all of the, the, the ice. And oh, I made my way to the, the top here. I know there's some purple things there. Can I can I get my, my hat into that electricity? Hmm, I might be able to, but not possibly from the, the top of that one there. Looks like I might be able to, to jump up here though. So let's go to the, the top up here. Because you can kind of ride in this electricity. Then again, I've got all of the, the purple things. These coins are good only in this kingdom. Ah, okay. So it looks like the, the purple polos, <laughs> as I keep calling them, uh, are only really useful in um the, the level that I was just in. And then this one has... I don't know, are they like supposed to be like tortilla chips or something? I don't know what this <laughs> they're supposed to be in this one. You ever get lost, you head for the bright glowy light, okay? Sounds like a, a pretty good guide. What's with these little rocket ships? These little rocket ships and ice around here. I was not expecting that. I know, I just thought, oh, there's a moon up there. I shouldn't have dropped down. There's a moon up on that side there. So it looks like when I'm kind of riding around in the, the electricity, uh, it looks like I am... Um, uh, it looks like I can basically control where I where I go to, to head to, which is a very, very handy. Oh, there's a parrot up here. Hello, parrot. <laughs> Look at his mouth. Ah, what is the secret you're seeking? I would know it. I know it. Aha! I can't tell you, but I'll give you a clue. Hidden room in the inverted pyramid. It's hiding somewhere and no peeking. Go find it. Go if you can. Scrawk! <laughs> so secret room in the inverted pyramid. Right, remember that. Oh, there's a pipe. Can I go in the pipe? I, of course I can go. I'm Mario. Of course I can go in the pipe. Did you hear? Oh, one second. Hello. Hello. There's a prize in this party room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble. Let it move you to the prize. Okay, so I guess I need to, to feel where it rumbles more to find where it is. Kind of this area seems quite rumbly. But yeah, what I was going to, to say is, did you hear that Mario isn't a plumber anymore? Did you know that? Apparently Nintendo officially announced that he is no longer a plumber and he's just like very sporty but not actually a plumber anymore. So <laughs> Mario is not actually a plumber. Oh, it feels like it's like here. Do I have to like ground pound or something? It's like so basically they they have the the HD rumble which is the the fancy name for like 
I don't know, I guess HD rumble, I guess. <laughs> it's a pretty good description, actually. And so it's vibrating more around this area. And I don't know, do I just need to, like, be here? Or do I need to do something where I'm here? Like, it's definitely around here. Oh, maybe, oh, up, up here, maybe? Feel, oh, oh, here, here, is this it? It's rumbling a lot right now. But it's not doing anything. Ground pound again? Oh, do I have to throw, oh, do I have to throw my hat at it? Maybe I need to throw... How about I try the old spinny? Oh, what's that? I threw it up in the air. Oh, okay, i got to do it to the side, don't I? Oh! <laughs> that was very fancy. I love the, the rainbow effect. What do I, let, me, let me see what he says again. There's a prize in the party room, but to find it, you'll have to feel it. Walk around, feel the rumble, let it move you to the front. Yeah, I feel like I did that. It's vibrating a bit down here as well. Doesn't seem to be uh, as much. It's definitely up in this corner somewhere. Okay, there we go. I found it. I was supposed to, to ground pound it. I have found a moon! A rumble from the sandy floor. <laughs> Look at the, the guys are celebrating down there as well. Ah, well, as soon as I need to get, what was it like? Is it 14, 17, 18? I don't know. I had to get a stupid amount of these. It's good to <laughs> it's good to begin that journey. But yeah, there was a there was a moon up here somewhere as well, wasn't it? I saw it. Ah! Right up here as well. Look at that. Two moons in like 15 seconds. That is efficient moon hunting, if I say so myself. So this game is really more about exploration. Uh, of course, there is like platforming and stuff in it as well. But it's really more about kind of tracking down the, the secrets and looking around and all. Oh, look, Bowser's footprints. Oh, oh, Bowser has been here. Oh, they seem to like end here. Did he get to him and then just like jump up somewhere? <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. There's another sign here. Let's see what this says. Travel tip, long jump. Ah, this is talking about where I think the, the triple jump thing is it. When you want to, to jump really far, or if you want to zoom even faster than you can by running, run, crouch, and then jump. You'll do a long jump. Ah, very useful. So run, crouch, jump. Run, crouch, jump. Woo! Run, crouch, jump. <laughs> just like the movement in this game just feels so fun. Oh, oh, these guys can get me. They were like Goombas that I discovered before that like couldn't hurt me. Oh, can I take them over then? No, I can't take them over. So it seems like a lot of the, the enemies you kind of just take out when you, you throw your, your hat at them. But some of them you can go and take over. I want to control something else. I want to capture something new if I can. And oh, what's this? Is this like a... Is this binoculars? Can I... Oh, maybe I can take them over. I should probably deal with... Oh, oh no, what's this? Okay, you can look around. And then I can zoom in on stuff as well if I if I want to. Atop the highest tower. So that looks like the main place I need to head to. But there's just so much just other stuff like everywhere around here. Like all the way back where I came from. There's like a little oasis down there. There are so many places for me to discover. This is a pretty big kingdom for the, the first proper kingdom, I guess, that we've, uh, we've been to. No. <laughs> don't know what I was doing. There, no, hello. No. I was trying to take out the... I was trying to take out the, the Goomba. I wasn't trying to take over the, the binoculars thing uh, again. So yeah, as I said, plenty of, uh, of places for, for me to explore inside of this kingdom. And I uh, will try and explore as many uh, of them as I can. But I think I'll first start by heading to the, the top of the tower. Because that seems to be really where the game wants me to go. Look how cold Mario is. He's just there shivering. I feel sorry for him. We need to try and sort out whatever's happening here. Because I think maybe... Something at the top of the tower is going to, to heat the area up. And so uh, we might be able to... Um, oh! Secret coins. Yeah, we might be able to, to melt some of the, the ice. And that's going to allow us to, to kind of discover some new places. And also free all of the people that have been trapped into the ice. So can I just like break the ground here? Oh, look at that! <laughs> I feel like I'm fixing all of these these bumps that are poking out. But anyway, sadly, that is going to be the, the end uh, of this episode here. But don't worry, I will continue to, to upload my Super Mario Odyssey videos pretty regularly uh, so we can continue the, the story going forward together. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!